Hi, this is Mandy Jury with Berkshire Hathaway Innovative Real Estate and Around Town. And today I am so excited because I'm here with some dear friends um, <laughs> of mine that I have known for a long time since, gosh, you were little. Yeah. My kids were little, so a long time. In fact, I still we still talk about stories um, with the kids, but um, Julie Trujillo and Madeline Kelly, and they are um, co-owners of Stages, Stage, Stage, Stage Images Dance, Dance Studio. Studio. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so yes, my um, son and Julie's son and her brother, Brian, mm -hmm. were littles together and played baseball together. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. We still share stories of throwing fries in the car and frost oh dipping gosh. frosties and oh, <laughs> French fry Fridays. That <laughs> was so long ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and McKaylee will always remember being in the style review with you and Lori oh oh when you made yes. her like over the little yeah. clothes yes. and stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So we go way back. So <laughs> this is really exciting for me to be able to be here and be focusing on them and um, um, featuring them to the community. So so tell me, I know Julie, you go way back with the dance world. So tell me a little bit about how this started. Give me a little bit of history about you and where you began and where we're at today. Um, I started at original dance, excuse me, original stage images dance studio. Okay. Um, in the eighties when I was 25, 24, 25 years old. Mm -hmm. And it was here in Brighton and I had it for almost a little over 13 years. Wow. And um, saw a lot of the community. Um, the girls talked me into starting a dance team again up at the high school. Mm -hmm. And I had that for a couple of years and um, I just closed it down because I wanted to spend time with my kids. Yeah. It was time, it yeah. was really time to do that. And after that, Madeline grew up and hated me because I did not put her in <laughs> dance. It is really? a very strong word. It's a very yeah. strong word. But it was, it's true. You I was upset. You didn't force her to <laughs> be in dance very classes. very upset. Yeah, no, I did not force her to be in dance classes. Um, she was in them at two years mm -hmm. old. She yeah. was in her first show at one, yeah, about two years old. Two and a half years. And she took a couple classes before I closed it down. And um, then she came to me and she says, I want to go back to dance. Wow. I miss it. Mm -hmm. I am so upset because you didn't keep me in dance. Yeah. I think that was about seventh grade. Yes. I, yeah. Yes. I tried oh. really hard. Yeah. Not to put not her to in dance. Not to push it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wanted her to choose. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised that she wanted to do it. Yeah. And then now, fast forward, yep. and you're, that's all you Almost do. like 20 years. <laughs> How many years ago? Like yes. 15? <laughs> At least 15 years yep. ago. We yes. need free sleep dance now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, not only um, is Madeline co-owner of the studio, she also is a coach um, at Riverdale Ridge High School yep. for the dance team. And so you guys have done so really good. Yeah, there. yeah. We've had, we've experienced tremendous growth with the program this last year. And um, we're one of the first teams um, to make it into state finals, wow. um, even in our school district. So we placed in Palms that morning and then Prairie View High School placed in the finals that afternoon. So to be the first teams in the school district is pretty cool to make finals. That's so, awesome. And yeah. how long have you been doing that with the high school? So I've been there since the very beginning in 2018. Okay, so four opened. years. And so I'm going into my fifth year. Wow, yeah. that's exciting. So you've seen a whole class graduate. Yes, right? yes, yes. That's cool, that's yes. cool. So. Now, tell me more about the studio. So you guys opened up the studio when did it officially open I know it's kind of been you well now tell me you guys were doing classes before you actually had the studio right Correct. we were teaching out of the garage of our home oh, gosh. we were doing privates yeah and then that grew into going to South Elementary for two days a week okay and we even went to King, um, Weld Central yep we, we, we spent day. two days at South Elementary here in town and then we were one day out at Weld Central wow, so. wow. and then um, we were blessed on finding the basement of a the, church. Yep, we were in Saint Elizabeth's Elizabeth. Episcopal Church. So, okay. I guess you could say estimate of when we opened would have been like 2016, 2017 ish. So, so a long time. Yeah, I think this is our sixth or seventh year. I think this will be our seventh or seventh. Officially. 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 Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. We really can't count those first few years because there really wasn't any place to to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then. Um, COVID hit. Yes. Which and had a big impact. It huge. did. Huge. Yes. It forced us out of the church and then to find our own building unexpectedly. So, uh, and I'm very, I'm very fast too. So. Yeah. Right. But everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We truly believe that. And we have this beautiful place. Yeah. So tell me how long have you been in this studio? 
Um, so we signed our lease back in fall of 2020, but our doors have officially wow. been opened in this place since January of 2021. Wow. So yeah. So you had a whole year of basically COVID delay and getting things right with zoning and yep. city yes. and all of that stuff to be able yeah. to open. Yes. 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 It's been a journey to be here today. So gosh, now tell me how much you've grown. Like how you started out with, I'm sure just doing some private lessons yeah. and then now you've got a full-blown studio so, so prior to going into south elementary we were pretty much had three privates four privates sometimes like it was a past student of mine i grew up with who is still in high school and then we forced a couple of forced <laughs> a couple of my cousins to take classes because we felt yeah. like that would benefit them so i mean technically you can say we started out with like four or five kids and just the garage of our house that we transformed into and now um we're reaching i think we've hit almost 150 kids now oh my gosh yeah. that's impressive yes wow and we can definitely fit more so that's <laughs> so great come on in. yes <laughs> yeah well there's such a need for that kind of thing around here i mean there's so many littles and so many kids and so grade wise or age wise um programs what what do you start at? where do they start at so we start kids as young as two and a half years old oh my gosh and How then cute. all the way through adults so we even have some you adult do have adult classes, classes? We do. yes we do, we do. <gasps> oh we I offer tap that. yes hip-hop and bollywood right now for really yes. i didn't know that i um long time ago when mckaylee was little and in cheer i did a few classes with her and i was oh. i loved it so i'm gonna have to Remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, we have a lot of fun, and we try to offer like family nights and mm -hmm. whatnot for Bollywood, just to bring in more people and have it as a fun family thing. More, yeah. yeah, more community building, yeah. community instead of just like kids come to take classes and then they leave. And yeah, so yeah, we really fo try to focus on building a family, building a community environment here within our studio where everyone can just walk in and say hi. Or yeah come yeah. on in and take a class if they want to. Right. So. Um, now your mom was telling me about some special classes that you do in partnership with um, some of the developmentally. Yes. Yeah. So we have um, a program called Inclusive Images and okay. basically it's for those with um, physical and cognitive disabilities and okay. but they have every ability to be in a dance class from yeah. wheelchairs to standing um, to nonverbal. We have, we have and we have it all and we invite everybody to be in here because dance is such a healing art form yeah, and exactly. and physical activity that it benefits a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of people mm -hmm. that's awesome now um i'm sh assuming you guys have recitals are those done do. every year are those done yeah. like six, every six our months official or? recital again oh, after good. a two-year delay yeah uh, um we we were able to have uh, have these shows but to actually be in a true theater yeah yeah, it's been it's yeah. been uh, since 2019 since we've been in a real theater. Gosh, so where do you guys get to have your recital? So this year's recital is in June, um, the week of the 13th, somewhere in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday the 15th and Thursday the 16th. Okay. Yeah, the shows at 6:30. But okay. we are very lucky and fortunate enough to be granted access to Riverdale Ridge Auditorium. Oh, nice. So That's awesome. we are glad to be able to have shows within our community and stay within our community, and our school district yeah. and support them. So That's awesome. Um, now there is some opportunity. Um, I know you, we were talking earlier about, um, maybe some production companies coming in and, and taking, renting some space or some time mm -hmm. from here. So talk about that just a little bit. Yeah. So we have, um, nonprofit organization companies, dance companies, um, come in and rent our space. And even like if people needed it for meetings or workshops or just any space, cause we have such open space and yeah. great and great lighting yes <laughs> <laughs> um and so yeah we take that opportunity for people to rent it out hourly and okay um, when the opportunity arises and so like i said we focus on community and want people to be able to come and use our space okay perfect so. so tell me now then if i have a little or if i have a student that's wanting to take dance or even if i want to take a dance class where do i go to get more information about that how do i contact you guys um do you have you know a class schedule up mm -hmm. that kind of thing. so we are getting ready for our recital in june so right now our classes are closed besides our adult dropping okay. classes which they are also performing in their recital because oh, cool. they, they chose to <laughs> they made that decision they're like can we perform in recital and we're like yes <laughs> of course um, so we're getting ready to launch our summer schedule here, but um, they can head over to our website at www.stageimagesdance.com. Okay. 
um, and find all of the information there, um, our email, our phone number, our address. We have a Facebook and Instagram as well that people can follow us there. So and look for announcements. Yeah, okay. and we are announcing our summer schedule as well. Okay. Here in the next few mm -hmm. days, we're hoping by next week yep. yeah. that we'll have that out. So that gives an opportunity because those are like six week sessions mm -hmm. or small uh, camps. Yeah. Oh, fun. And different things like yeah, that. so we're offering workshops and camp weeks and evening classes that run a certain lot of days. So if families can only make it for one class during yeah. the whole summer, great. If they want to set a regimen of the whole summer for those six weeks that we're having classes, perfect. Like we've got things, um, we've got classes for all ages and levels and multiple genres. We're even um, offering some new classes this summer just to um, have our students try new things like musical theater, intro to choreography. So even our Very students cool. can start to learn that process of how to create a dance. So. Well, that brings me to my next question then is the types of dancing that you do. I mean, we talked a little bit about some of the adult classes, but for the other classes, I'm assuming you've got, you know, will you tell me? Mm -hmm. I, I make an assumption. So we have our typical um, dance classes that you see in a studio, tap, ballet, jazz, modern fusion, um, hip hop. Um, but we also offer Bollywood too. Um, one of our instructors um, who also teaches our hip hop is originally from India. Oh wow. And so she teaches a Bollywood fusion type course um, that you would see over there in India, but of course here very in, cool. in Colorado, so. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. I um, I think you guys are doing amazing things here and I'm just been, I'm just so, so happy that I got mm -hmm. to sit down with you both. Um, it, it's it just like good excuse to catch up because we yes. haven't been caught up in a long time. <laughs> Time. <laughs> I know oh my gosh. Uh, we have kids something. getting married and babies oh coming gosh. you know it's just yeah. one thing it's just crazy so um, so it's been really good to see you guys and uh, if you guys are interested in um, signing up for a class I will definitely have all of their information posted uh, um, after this video so you'll be able to find how to find them um, and if you have things that or kids that need something to do during the summer it sounds like you got a great plan for that mm -hmm. so definitely check them out so and I think that's it Great. So thank, thank you guys you. very thank much you. for taking time with me and thank yeah. you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. It was fun. <laughs>